Interacting with your Android device using tabs and scrolls is so ice cream sandwich, if you know what I mean. Well, you can use plenty of gestures to interact with your Android device, but most of them are unknown to the users. But don't worry, we'll introduce you to them. What's up guys, I'm Devinder from pbomb.com and in this video, I'll be amazing you with some really cool Android gestures that you'll get used to eventually. So without waiting any further, let's jump right in. One really cool feature that Nogat brings is split screen multitasking. If you are the one who likes to multitask, this feature is an absolute treat for you. To activate split screen, you just have to press hold the recent app button and the already opened app will minimize to half the screen size and you can open whatever app you want in the other half. However, there's an alternate way to trigger split screen mode using a swipe up gesture from the recent button, but it requires some work to be done. Let me show you how it's done. First, press hold the settings cog in quick settings for about 5 seconds. Once you let go the finger, you'll be greeted with the message, congrats, system UI tuner has been added to the settings. Now, in the settings page, scroll down to system UI tuner, tap on it, here, head to other and enable split screen swipe up gesture and that's it. You can just swipe up from the recents button and it will activate the split screen mode. Cool, right? If you are someone who opens a lot of tabs in Chrome, we have some good news for you. Chrome offers a simple yet intuitive gesture to switch tabs quickly. Take a situation where you have opened a couple of tabs in Chrome. You can just swipe right or left from the address bar to switch between tabs. Remember, you'll have to swipe on the address bar otherwise this trick won't work. If you don't want to scroll to the tabs one by one, simply swipe down from the top to open Chrome's tab switcher. Here, you can see all the tabs in the form of cards and you can choose the one you want to open or close a tab. These are definitely some really cool gestures for Chrome, isn't it? If you have to, let's say, turn on the location services, you'll scroll down from the top ones which will open the notification center, repeat it once again and it will open the quick settings. However, if you will use two fingers instead of one, it will directly open the quick settings with the various toggles such as Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, location, etc. from where you can just turn on the location. Though it isn't solving a major hassle, but the satisfaction quotient accompanied with this gesture is priceless. Zooming in with pinch gesture or double tap is not very user friendly when you have only one finger free. Double tap on an image and don't let go the finger on the second tap. Now move the finger upwards or downwards to zoom in or zoom out the image. It not only works on photos but also on Google Maps. It's pretty handy when you are running out of fingers. Google Keyboard is a pretty feature rich keyboard app and along with its unique features the keyboard includes some very cool gestures that you can use to speed up your typing. Here are some of them. Let's say you have typed a really long sentence and while rereading it, you find some misspellings here and there. So instead of tapping into words, you can simply swipe left or right on the spacebar to pinpoint the words you want to edit. It is as handy as a superpower. If you want to delete a complete sentence or a couple of words, the usual way is to keep pressing the delete key till it's done. But there's a really thoughtful gestures to our rescue. Let's say you have to delete one complete sentence. All you have to do is press the delete key and drag it towards left on the keyboard. It'll then select the words and delete all of them at once, saving you some effort. I was very impressed when I came to know about it. If you want to capitalize a letter within the sentence, then pressing caps lock becomes a major hassle as you have to press it again to turn it off. It kind of breaks the continuity of what you were about to type next. To save you from that hassle, here's a gesture. Just swipe from the caps lock key to the first letter of the word you want to type and it will be done. And whatever you type next won't have caps on them. Google keyboard suggestions are quite handy when it comes to overall typing experience but not always. 
So if you want to get rid of a particular word from the suggestions, all you have to do is press hold that suggestion and drag it to the pin that appears on the screen. If your text involves typing numbers and symbols in between, then going through the hassle of hitting the symbols key and then typing the number or symbol feels like a marathon. So here's a neat gesture to your rescue. Just drag the symbol key towards right and it will start showing the symbols and numbers corresponding to each letter. Just drop it on the one you want and it's done. The keyboard is back to the letters. So these were the native Android gestures that you could use to speed up your usage or make it more interactive. However, we are not done yet. There's so much more to the gestures. There's this third party app, all in one gestures that aims to make gestures as your primary interaction with your device. Once installed, you can set up custom gestures for all four edges or corners of your screen. But prior to that, you'll have to go to the settings and then scroll down to accessibility. There, you will have to enable the all-in-one gestures app. Once that is done, go back to the app, turn on the enable toggle, tick the gesture you want and choose the action that you want to trigger with that particular gesture. For this video, I would want my phone to trigger recent app while I swipe from left area. Let's see if it works. Oh yeah, it does. Similarly, you can choose an edge on the right area, bottom area, upper left, etc. or any other corner of your phone for that matter. Once you start using these gestures, you will definitely start loving your Android smartphone even more. However, if you don't want to use a dedicated app just for the gestures, you can always install a launcher with gesture support. One such option is Apex Launcher as it brings some great gesture options in its free version. Once installed, set Apex Launcher as the default launcher and head over to Apex Settings. Then tap on Behavior Settings and scroll down to Gestures where you can set up gestures for pinch in, swipe up, swipe down, double tap or long press. Let's select pinch in to open Instagram app and see if it works. Oh yeah, it does. It really does feel cool to be able to use all these gestures. If you want more of these gestures, you can opt for Apex Launcher's paid version. As a matter of fact, Nova Launcher also provides its users with all the cool gestures but only in the paid version. If the gestures till now haven't got the geek in you interested yet, here is something that might. Now, here's an app that offers a gesture that doesn't even require you to touch your phone. Yeah, you heard me right. Kin screen is the app I'm talking about. It lets you turn on your device's screen by just waving your phone's proximity sensor. This comes in handy when you just want to see the time without having to press the unlock button. This app also brings a host of other options like the ability to check working of your device's proximity sensor, turn on screen or keep screen on when motion is detected. All of these features are configurable but only in the full version of the app. One important thing to note here is that I am performing most of these actions on the latest version of Android, which is Android Nougat. And while most of them should work perfectly fine on Marshmallow, but on versions prior to that, they might not. So that was it guys. If you enjoyed the video and learned something new, do hit that like button as it keeps us strong. Also, subscribe to our channel as we keep coming back with cool tech videos every single week. And till we meet next time, have a good one.